speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Who doesn't love music? There are so many genres and styles and categories that there is surely something for everyone. You know how it makes you feel to hear your jam and your body starts to move and your feet take on a mind of their own and a smile unlike any other lights on your face as you sing the lyrics you know better than the answers to your last exam. So good, right? Well, if hearing your favorite song or songs cause most of us to have plenty favorites, imagine how the Lord feels as he hears us singing and making melody in our hearts to him. That's God's jam. He's got to listen. And he can't help smiling and moving and joy because you have that effect on him. Seriously. This is such a beautiful verse for us to read and take joy in because it lets us know without a shadow of a doubt God hears us. That he wants to hear from us. He wants to fellowship with us. We're important to him. And when we do sing to him, we really make his day. This isn't hard to believe because music has such a profound effect on every single person who exists. There's nothing like losing yourself in a song that has special meaning for you. A song that resonates with your soul. And a melody that lights up your synapses and sets your mind and heart on fire. A lyric that speaks your truth. Like hearing an instrument that seems to mimic the beating of your heart perfectly and you melt effortlessly. You know what I mean. The style of music makes a difference because it speaks your exact language. Like that card you found the other day exactly what you wanted to say, but never found the time to say. Like that. See, the verse begins speaking to yourselves. So first off, these psalms and hymns and spiritual songs are meant for your pleasure. Imagine that. The king of the universe wants you to enjoy it first. He wants these creations to speak to you first. That means in his eyes, you are first on his mind. <laughs> wow. You don't have to do it others for validation. You've got the Lord's validation and he thinks you're so special that he wants you to enjoy the beauty of the music first. Now that just makes me smile and I am filled with joy just thinking about it. How about you? The verse continues in songs and hymns and spiritual songs, letting us know that there's more than one way to please his heart and that more than one type of music brings him joy. This is the most eye-opening and educational part of the verse. No one can tell you your song or your hymn or your melody is not the right one because the Lord says he loves variety. It's right there. Music has changed dramatically over the centuries, let alone over the decades and the past few years. So there's no right way to sing a song. There's only the way that speaks to your heart because then it will speak to the heart and ears of the Lord. What all of this amounts to is praise to our Heavenly Father, a praise that comes from the depths of our being created to speak to the depths of the being of our creator, and it doesn't get more beautiful than that. As you listen to your jam, take a moment and say, Lord, listen to this one. This song is my jam. You're going to love it. And sing your heart out, because he is listening. So this month, be sure to take time to praise the Lord and allow him to share in your joy of favorite jams, because this is the month we recognize and give thanks, and nothing like this giving thanks to the Lord. guess what? God says you're a 10, so believe it. Act like it and give praise to God because it's true. And as always, love all, bless all. Bye now.